As the old saying goes, angels can fly because they carry no burdens. Today, we embark on a journey to understand the messages our celestial guides are whispering to us. In the infinite tapestry of existence, these guides signify the benevolent forces guiding us subtly but consistently. Ever contemplate the wind, an enigmatic force that we feel but never see, an invisible yet omnipresent entity in our lives. The wind in its essence is untouchable, unseeable, but its presence is always experienced, always acknowledged. Its power can range from the tender caress of a summer zephyr to the raw might of a winter tempest. It's an unending presence, subtly directing us, steering us towards our destined path. Now imagine the wind as an allegorical representation of the messages from our celestial guides, our angels. The angelic messages, analogous to the wind, exhibit a spectrum of intensity. They can be faint whispers barely audible to our consciousness or robust nudges that rouse our awareness. They pervade our everyday lives, though we might not always recognize them. These messages might arrive to us in our dreams, during moments of quiet introspection, or in occurrences that we dismiss as mere coincidences. They hover around us in moments of exuberance, sorrow, victory, and defeat. They influence our actions, our choices, and mold our existence in ways we might not always comprehend. These angelic messages could be as uncomplicated as an inexplicable sensation of tranquility, a feeling of being safeguarded, or an unexpected realization that appears to emerge from thin air. Being more elaborate, they might manifest as a sequence of events that lay down a specific path for us to tread, or a recurring theme that keeps reappearing in our lives, like a pattern in the chaos. They exist to guide us, to aid us in navigating the intricate journey of life, just as the wind steers a ship across the vast, unpredictable seas. Deciphering these messages can often be a challenging task. There may be times when they appear enigmatic or even paradoxical, but akin to the wind, they're not designed to be comprehended in their entirety at once. They're meant to be sensed, to be lived, to guide us step by step, gently, unassertively, towards our true destiny. Our angels communicate with us in a language that transcends words, that surpasses human comprehension, it is a vocabulary that resonates with the soul rather than the mind. It's a medium that relies on feelings more than logic, on intuition more than intellect. It's a dialogue that unfolds not within the realm of the material, but within the sphere of the spiritual. It's a conversation where the celestial intersects with the mundane, the divine intertwines with the mortal. They don't merely exist to guide us on our journey, but also to remind us that we're not alone that we're part of something more profound, more significant than our individual selves. Messengers of a divine order, harbingers of a cosmic plan that's far beyond our human understanding. Just as the wind guides a ship at sea, angel messages are guiding us in the journey of life. Let us delve deeper into these divine signals. In the darkest night, the lighthouse stands tall, guiding the lost ships towards safety. This phenomenon is something we can all relate to in our lives. In a metaphorical sense, we have our own versions of these lighthouses, and they are our angels. They are our celestial lighthouses, their messages glowing and shimmering brightly, guiding us through the tumultuous storms and uncertain waves that life throws at us. Now I want to encourage you to visualize, if you please, the disorienting experience of a ship lost amidst the vast, unfathomable sea. Picture in your mind the menacing black waves rising and falling with a terrifying rhythm, hiding the horizon from view, cloaking it in uncertainty. The night is so incredibly dark that even the twinkling stars are hidden away, their guiding light stolen by the ominous clouds. Just when despair begins to creep in, a distant light miraculously pierces the intimidating darkness. A symbol of hope, the lighthouse stands gallantly tall and unyielding against the unwavering storm, its brilliant light a beacon of hope and direction. This is an accurate representation of how angel messages function in our lives, providing a glimmer of light during our personal tempests. Angel messages are like these lighthouses, offering a guiding light and assurance during the times when we are lost and confused, unable to find our bearings. These messages present themselves in various forms, each unique and significant. Some of us might see repetitive numbers like the sequence of ones or fours. These are not mere coincidences, but angelic signals sent with the intention to grab our attention. 
Others might experience synchronized events two or more unrelated incidents occur together in a way that seems too perfect, too orchestrated to be a product of randomness. These events are like the flashes from the lighthouse, each one a signal from our angelic guides leading us towards our true path, our destiny. Just like the lighthouse doesn't control the ship's course but merely provides guidance, angel messages don't dictate our life's trajectory. They simply offer us direction, illuminating the path we can choose to follow. They act as gentle reminders, urging us to understand and remember even in the most tumultuous times, we are not alone. We have celestial guides constantly watching over us, their messages a constant source of comfort and reassurance. The next time you see a repetitive number or experience a synchronicity, remember the lighthouse. Remember that you are not lost or alone in this vast ocean of existence. You have your own celestial lighthouse, your angels, sending you messages, guiding you towards your true purpose. Just as the lighthouse is a beacon of hope in the dark, angel messages guide us towards our true purpose. Have you ever noticed how a garden thrives with unseen hands nurturing it? Our angels, too, are these unseen gardeners, constantly nurturing our lives. This is a truth often overlooked in the humdrum of daily life. In the hush of dawn, as the world stirs from its slumber, the unseen gardener begins his work. His presence is as soft as the morning light, whispering across the sky, bathing the world in a soft golden hue. He is a silent worker, one who blends seamlessly with the serene ambiance of the garden. His hands, though invisible, are felt in the gentle rustle of the leaves, the dew-kissed petals, and the vibrant colors that burst into life. They work tirelessly, meticulously tending to each sprout, each bloom. The unseen gardener is the quiet force that nurtures, supports, and encourages the garden to flourish. He toils away while the world remains oblivious, immersed in its own pace. Our lives, too, are like a garden, a beautiful canvas of experiences, emotions, dreams, and aspirations. And our angels, like the unseen gardener, are always there, nurturing us even when we don't see them. They stay in the background, their presence subtle yet profound. They are the quiet, comforting whispers in our hearts, the gentle nudges in our souls, the reassuring presence in our lives. They guide us, support us, and love us like the unseen gardener tending to his garden. When the world seems too heavy or the road ahead too daunting, remember the unseen gardener. Remember how he ensures each plant is watered, each flower blooms, each leaf turns towards the sun. He is there in the silence, in the darkness, in the solitude, working tirelessly, lovingly to ensure the garden thrives. He is the echo in the dawn, the shadow in the twilight, the sigh in the midnight air. So too, our angels are there. They send us messages of love and support wrapping us in an unseen embrace. They whisper words of encouragement when we need it most and send signs to reassure us that we are on the path. They are our unseen gardeners tending to the gardens of our lives, ensuring we grow, bloom, and thrive. As we journey through life, let us remember the unseen gardener and the love and care he pours into his garden. Let us remember our angels and the messages they send. Let us take comfort in their presence, their guidance, and their love. Let us embrace their silent support, acknowledge their unseen efforts, and appreciate their ceaseless contribution to our lives. Each day as we wake to new opportunities and challenges, let us remember the unseen gardener. Let us appreciate the care, the love, and the effort pours into his garden. And let's reflect upon our angels, their guidance, their messages, their reassurances. Embrace their invisible touch, their comforting words, their unwavering presence. Like the unseen gardener tending to every plant, our angels send us messages of love and support, helping us to grow and thrive. Imagine a symphony playing without any sound. This is how our angels communicate with us, a silent symphony only our soul can hear. To some, this may seem like a baffling concept, but let us delve deeper into this thought. Picture, if will, a grand orchestral concert, a multitude of musicians, each with their own unique instrument, ready to play a piece of music, yet, when the conductor raises his, there is silence. No audible notes, no discernible sound, just silence. You may wonder, how can this be a symphony then? Yet this silent symphony is precisely how celestial guides convey their messages. You may question how to tap into this silent symphony. This notion might seem mysterious, elusive, and even a bit intimidating. But the secret is simpler than it seems. It involves quieting the incessant chatter of our minds, opening our hearts to the imperceptible whispers of the divine, and truly listening. 
To accomplish this, there are a handful of practices we can incorporate into our lives, such as meditation and mindfulness. These may seem like common buzzwords in the realm of self-improvement and spiritual growth, but they serve a deeper purpose. They act as tuning forks, helping us align with the divine frequency, the silent symphony. Think of meditation as an act akin to becoming an audience member in the grand auditorium of life. As you sit silently, your focus solely on your breath, you begin to hear the faint notes of the silent symphony. It's similar to turning the dial on a radio, seeking that crystal clear signal amidst the static noise. The more you meditate, the sharper. The more definitive the silent symphony becomes, the divine music becomes increasingly discernible, growing more vibrant and resonant with each session. Mindfulness, a complementary practice, involves fully immersing ourselves in the present moment. It's like sitting in the front row of the auditorium, absorbing every note, every vibration of the silent symphony. When we are mindful, we become acutely aware of the nuances around us. We notice the subtle cues and signs our angels send us. We become attuned to the synchronicities, the so-called coincidences that are, in fact, angel messages disguised. Then there's intuition, our internal compass, guiding us towards the right path. It's as if we have a personal conductor subtly directing us towards the notes in the silent symphony. Our intuition is a potent tool in decoding angel messages. It nudges gently, whispers subtly to us, and if we're fully tuned in, we can hear its voice amidst the cacophony of life. This endeavor to tune into the silent symphony isn't about merely hearing with our ears. It's not solely about the physical act of listening. It's about listening with our soul. It's about becoming quiet enough to hear the divine whispers, mindful enough to spot the signs, and intuitive enough to comprehend the angelic messages. In conclusion, tapping into this silent symphony requires a subtle shift in our perspective, a shift from external hearing to internal listening. It requires a profound understanding that our angels are always communicating with us, always guiding us. We just need to be open, receptive, and willing to listen. Like the silent symphony that plays a beautiful melody, our angels communicate with us if only we are willing to listen. Every journey has an end, and today we are nearing the end of our journey into the realm of angel messages, a realm where celestial whispers echo in the chambers of our hearts, resonating with the divine truth within us. As we stand on the precipice of completion, we look back at the road we've traveled, a road marked by the subtle yet profound guidance of these angelic messages, each message, like a compass needle, has pointed us towards our true north, steering us through the labyrinth of life, the uncharted territories of our existence. Like the whispering wind, they've been gentle yet persistent, nudging us softly, insistently towards our predestined path, a road chosen not by chance, but by a divine design that surpasses human understanding. The nature of these angelic communications is an intricate tapestry woven by the threads of divinity, yet, despite its complexity, it's beautifully simple, matching the paradoxical harmony of our existence. They serve as a comforting blanket in the chilling solitude of our daily lives, consoling us, assuring us of the extraordinary hidden within the ordinary. These messages remind us of our inherent power and infinite potential. They are not booming voices from above, but serene whispers that blend seamlessly with the symphony of our world, offering guidance and support, without conditions, without expectations. These celestial transmissions are not merely words, they are more than that, they are vibrations, frequencies of love and light that suffuse our entire being, illuminating our path, even in the darkest corners of our life. They serve as the lighthouse in the storm, a beacon of hope that guides us safely when the seas of life become tumultuous and unyielding. We may not always see these angelic guides, much like the unseen gardener who quietly tends to the garden of our spirit. They are always there, nurturing our growth, pruning away the thorns of and fear, ensuring our spirit blossoms in the light of love. Their love for us is ceaseless, their care unending, a testament to the divine affection that transcends human comprehension. These angel messages are also akin to a silent symphony, a melody that reverberates within the depths of our soul. It's a song that only we can hear, a harmonious tune that aligns us with our true essence and the divine purpose we are here to fulfill. Reflecting on this journey, we realize that tuning into these angelic messages is not a one-time event. It's a continuous process, a dynamic interaction between our soul and the divine. It's about being open, 
being receptive, and most importantly, being still. For it is in the profound silence of our hearts that we can truly hear the symphony of the angels, a symphony that sings of love, light, and divine guidance. As our journey comes to an end, remember that the whispers of the wind, the beacon of the lighthouse, the care of the unseen gardener, and the melody of the silent symphony are always there, guiding us on our path. All we need to do is listen. From our hearts to the heavens, we are forever interconnected, bound by the ethereal thread of divine love.